most crows would accept that they're not the most striking birds. However, there was one crow who always sulked when the other woodland birds chatted about who was the most colorful or who had the finest voice. So she was not happy when a baby bird suddenly chirped. Who has the most beautiful feathers? Before anyone could say a word, the crow answered. The crow, of course. Now the other birds laughed so much, the branches all swayed. Nonsense! Everyone knows the kingfisher has the most beautiful orange and blue feathers, said the sparrow. A crow is just the same dull color from head to toe. Even the blackbird has orange feet. Well, who can sing the best then, asked the baby bird. And without hesitation, the crow replied confidently. The crow, of course. This time, some of the birds were knocked out of the tree, which shook from the laughter of all the birds. No, no, chuckled the woodpecker. It's the nightingale who has the sweetest song. A crow's voice is too croaky and makes me think of winter. The crow was so upset, she wanted to fly off to be on her own. She hung her head in shame, but then suddenly spied a large piece of cheese lying in the grass below. I do have a good voice, she told herself, and I'm clever. None of the others have spotted that cheese. And she swooped down, grabbing the cheese with her sharp beak. Then she flew back to the tree, flapping her wings proudly, showing off her prize to the envy of all the other birds. What a lovely piece of cheese, cried the sparrow. Can we share it? But the crow shook her head. After all, why should she share when everyone had been so mean to her? So the other birds all flew away in disgust. Good, thought the crow. Now I can enjoy the cheese in peace. She flew up to a higher branch and settled herself. But just at that moment, a beautiful red fox sauntered by. Spotting the crow, his eyes narrowed as he saw the cheese wedged in her beak. Mmm, thought the fox. That looks a tasty piece of cheese, indeed. I must have it. Now the fox knew he needed a clever plan. So he slowly circled the tree twice before deciding what to do. Seeing the fox, a family of rabbits quickly ran from the woods and into the meadow to hide. They knew exactly how dangerous he could be. Good morning, said the fox in his friendliest voice, calling up to the crow. What a very fine bird you are. Look at your glossy feathers, how they shine. You must be the finest bird I have ever seen. And noticing the crow raising her head up high, he added, None of the other birds in the woods is a match for you. This is just what the crow needed to hear. No one had ever told her that she had beautiful feathers. In fact, no one had ever admired anything about her before. I am beautiful too, she said to herself, as she brimmed with pride. The fox had hoped the crow would open her mouth to say thank you. So far, his plan is not working. He needed to think quickly. I imagine a bird with fine sleek feathers like you would also have a beautiful voice, he continued, using all his cunning. The delighted crow nodded. At last, she thought, here is someone who appreciates me. All those other birds who think I have a croaky voice are plain wrong. I wish they could hear what this fox is telling me. 
The fox was losing patience, but tried once more. Would you be so kind as to share your beautiful voice with me? He asked meekly. I'm sure it's even sweeter than the song of a nightingale. And this time, the crow couldn't resist the fox's flattery. I do have a beautiful voice, she told herself, and I'm going to prove it, she added defiantly. She puffed up her chest and opened her sharp beak. Caca, she croaked. Down, down, down fell the cheese, right into the fox's wide open mouth. Snap went his jaws. The fox chewed the cheese very slowly, determined to enjoy every little bite. This was surely the best cheese he had ever tasted. So good, he called up to the stunned crow. And as he slinked away, he added, You really are a very vain bird. A very vain bird who can't sing either. As the crow sat on the branch all alone, she realized she had learned a very important lesson today. And she knew she would never be fooled by flattery again. The end.